Mark Hurd championed the sport of tennis like none other. His love for the game inspired him to provide his alma mater Baylor with the Hurd Tennis Center in 2001. He also created the Oracle U.S. Tennis Awards, a pair of $100,000 grants given each year to two American college players who are launching their professional careers. Those awards have helped jumpstart the careers of Australian Open finalist Danielle Collins, former Georgia Tech star Chris Eubanks, and Mackie McDonald, who was an NCAA champion at UCLA. The Oracle Scholarship for me was amazing. Um, coming out of college, you know, having some financial support. The expenses of tennis starting out is pretty difficult from the bottom level. The roots are, uh, it's a lot out of pocket. It racks up. It, it just, it keeps going, it keeps going. And, and to be able to, like I say, have that burden kind of taken care of and being able to say, you know what, I'm coming out on tour. I can do things very, very professional. I can make sure I have my coach, make sure, you know, all of our travel expenses are covered, no shortcuts. It just kind of takes that weight off of you and allows you to just focus on playing tennis. Mark Hurd passed away in 2019 and left a legacy of generosity and support for our sport. His contributions to the Intercollegiate Tennis Association were instrumental in developing and expanding Oracle's partnership with the ITA. And now, in a partnership with Universal Tennis, those grants are coming back. The Hurd Tennis Awards will return for 2023. So one female and one male player will get a $100,000 grant to help them transition from college tennis to the pros. And we welcome, we are so happy to have on TC Live, Paula Hurd, who was married to Mark for nearly 30 years, and Stephen Amitraj of Universal Tennis. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. So cool to see that Universal Tennis and, and you, Paula, are teaming up to bring back these grants. Paula, what went into the decision to, to rebrand and, and revitalize these scholarships, these grants? Well, as you stated, my husband is very passionate about the sport and we're always looking at ways to honor my late husband. This past summer, uh, the BNP announcer here, Andrew Krasny, happened to be up in San Jose, close to my hometown, and he said, come on over and watch the tournament. Well, Danielle Collins, a 2017 recipient of the award, ended up winning the tournament the same day Mackenzie McDonald was in DC and played in the finals against Sinner. Mm. Although he took second, it just really goes to show how these scholarships and awards can make a difference in these players' lives. That's amazing. And certainly, Danielle, getting to the top 10 after making the Australian Open final this year. She's talked about it. We, we've heard from Mackie and Chris Eubanks how much this helped them. So, Stephen, how did Universal Tennis become a part of this? So, Universal Tennis is absolutely honored to work with Paula and the Hurd family to administer and distribute the awards. I mean, as you may know, and and many people in the in in college and juniors use UTR to understand their level. But in this case, it's amazing because the we can understand where the collegiate players translate into the pros. And it's just a perfect connection to our core mission to transform tennis and and combine it with our new developmental tour of over 185 events globally um, with over $20 million committed to this level of developing pro. And to determine who is getting these grants, uh, one male player, one female player, couple of Paula's good friends, Lindsay Davenport, Tracy Austin, some of our teammates here at Tennis Channel. Stephen, how did you come up with this list uh, uh, of folks great names in the world of tennis to be on this council. Well, I mean, we're so lucky to have <laughs> these people want to be on the council with us and, um, you know, former Grand Slam champions, um, people connected college tennis, whether through themselves or through um, their their spouses or children. Um, but I think the commonality here is just a desire to really help American tennis and college tennis. And, you know, we are so lucky to have um, this group uh, guide us in the selection of the uh, recipients. Yeah, uh, all-star. Council right there. Uh, pretty amazing group that's going to determine who will get these grants next year. Uh, Paula, I, I know you've got some favorite players on tour. You've been watching tennis for so long. Who are you looking for here at Indian Wells this year? Uh, some of your, your favorite players to watch? Well, I'm going to have to go for Rafa this year. He's uh, undefeated this year. Uh, I've had the opportunity to spend some time with him over the past decade because I've been working with my husband and Oracle on this 
tournament, and he's been a key component to it. So that's my vote. All right, Rafa, that's, that's a pretty good one. He's won here three times. What's it like to spend some time with one of arguably the greatest tennis players of all time? I have to tell you, he's super guy. And during these matches, we used to have the collegiate tournament where we'd bring the college teams over to an estate in Rancho Mirage, and he would speak to them, and there would be female players literally crying to be in the presence of him. And just he is so solid and so personable and couldn't be uh, more thankful for his contribution to the sport and how he is with all others. Yeah, he, he is an incredible champion, 21 majors now. Uh, we are here talking about universal tennis a little bit and college tennis. We've got a great matchup today, Stephen. We've got two players. Jensen Brooksby spent a year at Baylor, didn't get to play any dual matches for them, but went to Baylor. And then Cam Norrie from TCU, who won this event last year. Well, break it down for us using universal tennis. Well, I mean, it is an all Big 12 matchup here. Yes. Quarterfinals, <laughs> day, uh, quarterfinals day at, uh, at the VNP Paribas. Um, look, Norrie's been playing unbelievable coming off a win in Del Rey, coming off a win here last year. Um, but, you know, Jensen Brooksby, has been really kind of coming through lately. Um, we have a slight nod to Nori in this match, but I mean, I, I just can't bet against Brooksby. I think that he's just a pretty special guy, and these are gonna. This is gonna be an incredible match between two court generals that really use every inch of the court, and I'm just really excited to watch it. Yeah, Brooksby, did you see that win against Sitsipas? I mean, that was incredible. Incredible, great comeback. Um... You're probably going to ask me what my preference is. I uh, had my late husband attend and played tennis at Baylor, and my daughter attended Baylor, so there's a slight bias there. Got to go with the Baylor Bear, then. Got to go with the Baylor <laughs> exactly. Bear. Jensen Brooksby. It's going to be a fantastic matchup. Paula, Stephen, thank you so much for spending some time with us, and thank you for, for bringing these grants back because it really has helped college tennis players make that transition to the pros, as we've seen, and get high in the rankings, win tournaments, and uh, live out their dreams. We're excited to announce the winners next year with you. We'll be in here, and it'll be exciting. All right, fantastic. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for joining us here on TC Live today.